All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Ruchah Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the Most High, hopefully elect. This is Brother Yagadah Lamar from GMS Houston. And uh, I got a lesson I want to go into, uh, basically, just kind of um, a spiritual code, so to speak, man, uh, uh, of clear indicators through the spirit of America in the Bible, man, okay, which a lot of people, when we speak about the uh, downfall of America and the things to come dealing uh, with the Most High's prophecy, which is uh, America is a great, the, the main stage for the prophecies of the Heavenly Father to be concluded, man. Okay, you have people who doubt that America is in the scriptures, and that's just because they don't want to see this place go, man. So that's the first question they pose is, oh, well, show me uh, where is America in the scriptures? Oh, they don't talk about America, the most influential country in the, in, uh, 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 in the, on the earth right now, but it's not going to be spoken of in biblical prophecy, man. It shows you how far gone these Christians are and how they have no clue about what these scriptures are talking about, man. So, uh, Lord willing, there'll be some edification in this video. Uh, and these scriptures tie together for the edification of the Most High's elect. Uh, with that, I want to jump straight in to one of the main curses indicating uh, um, that America is, uh, uh, is spoken of in the Bible, man. Okay, and also, uh, even though it's kind of off topic for this lesson, but it uh, shows uh, who the children of Israel are due to one of these main curses, man. Okay? So, uh... This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. It says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Okay? So let's just get straight to the point, man. Okay? What historical event took place where a, 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 a nation of people were taken by ship into captivity and showed, sold as bond men and bond women, man, okay? What is America known for, man? It, it is known for the, uh, uh, the, the, the most heinous act of slavery that's ever taken uh, place in mankind, man, okay? What's this place was set up when, uh, when the Negroes came over here on cargo slave ships? What would happen? They were thrown on auction blocks and sold as slaves, man. Okay? And the scripture said that no man shall sell by you, meaning save you, man. Okay? Because the only savior uh, that, uh, is going to be Yahweh Shai. Okay? And we, uh, throughout these times, all these so-called black leaders, from your Martin Luther Kings to for whoever else you want to think of, man. Nobody has been able to pull us out of this captivity. Why? Because it's the job of Yahweh Shai. But the point being that on no other account in history can match up with this scripture except the Negroes being brought over here to America. Okay? And that's the key thing I want to focus on in this lesson is America, man. Okay? This is not talking about, uh, uh, um, uh, let me read the scripture one more time, Bob Kushai. It says, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, okay? And what is uh, uh, that talking about? It's talking about America, man, okay? Because it's not talking about modern uh, 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 ancient, uh, ancient e uh, Egypt, man, All right? It's talking about America, which is modern-day Egypt, man. And you can see that clearly through the symbols on the dollar, okay? Through the obelisk uh, uh, that's been erected here in America, man. All right, okay, as well as this being a revised Roman Empire, but let's stick to Egypt dealing with that curse uh, uh, that was placed on the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans uh, in Deuteronomy uh, 28 and 68, man. Okay, and just to back that point up of America, uh, another code name of America being Egypt, man. It's, uh, this is Revelation 11 and 8. It says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified, man. And the dead, dead bodies are who? That's the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here on the shores of America who have lost their identity, man, okay? All right? Because we were in a dead state before we found out that we was Israelites, man, okay? We were going by all different type of uh, by names and, uh, and uh, 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 titles that the so-called white man placed upon us, man. Okay, but this is the great city, America, man, which is spiritually Sodom in Egypt. Why is it spiritually Sodom? Because of the uh, the uh, 
the uh, uh, rampant homosexuality that's uh, amplified here, man. Okay? It's not only uh, accepted here, but it's promoted and pushed on every level now, man. Okay? In Egypt, man, which is the point of why I pulled this scripture, man. And you see, you look on the back of the dollar, what do you see? The pyramid, man. Okay? You go uh, in Washington, out here in uh, in Houston itself, man. Okay, you have, uh, uh, if I'm correct, it's the tallest obelisk uh, uh, in America, man. Okay, uh, right down by the, uh, the San, uh, at the San Jacinto Monument, man. Okay, so I'm going to jump back to Deuteronomy one more time, man. It's Deuteronomy 28 and 68. It says, and the Lord shall bring me into Egypt again with ships. All right, and that's, uh, it wouldn't, you wouldn't have to have done that, man. Okay, if this was talking about ancient Egypt, you would have need, wouldn't have needed ships, man. It says, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies, for bond men and bond women, and no man shall abide by you, okay? And who was our main enemy? Esau, Edom, man, okay? Even though all the other nations conspired together, but our main enemy is Esau, Edom, because that's who we are under the foot of, okay? And that's another curse, but that's who we were under the foot of, when we came over here to America, man, okay, we would uh, direct uh, sold into slavery uh, uh, under these damn Edomites, man, okay, and there's no getting around that, man, and during that time, what happened, man, our heritage was beat and beaten out of us, man, okay, a quick precept, this is uh, Micah 2 and 2, it says, and they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away, they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. And the key point out of that scripture was oppressing a man's heritage, man. And that's what Esau Edom did to us, but it had to happen according to prophecy, man. Okay? As the scriptures say, there had to be a fall in the way, man. Okay? Why? For the purpose of us waking up again to the truth of who we are, man. Okay? And that fall in the way has happened, man. Okay? And what was that pertaining to us losing our identity and our heritage, man? Okay? But now we in a land where it was set for us to wake up, man. It was uh, where it was set for us to receive this knowledge, wisdom, or understanding. And this is talking about America, man. This is the grand stage that the Most High set up for uh, for his uh, the main part of his movie, man. Okay? And just dealing with uh, us waking up, man. I want to uh, jump to the book of Ezekiel 37, man. Because it's, uh, it's another key uh, uh, scripture dealing uh that shows uh america in the bible man but it's only for the ones who can receive it man okay you're not gonna see america directly in the scriptures but through the spirit the most high have uh revealed it unto his prophets to break it down so the world can know that this is babylon the great this is egypt this is rome all over again man okay america all right now we already went uh, uh just hit micah 2 and 10 uh speaking on a man of. Uh, uh, a man oppressing a, yeah, a man's heritage, man, which Esau did to the nation of Israel, man. Okay, and also uh, quoted out of the scriptures where it says there should be a falling away first, us losing our identity, man. Okay, so this is Ezekiel 37 and starting at verse one, it says the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out into the into in the spirit of the Lord, and He set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones, okay? And what were those bones, man? You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans over here in America who were in a Gentile state of mind not knowing who we were, man, okay? It says, and caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, they were very, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry, okay? And it's talking about America, man, okay? That's the valley of dry bones, uh, spoken of here, man. Okay, because this is where we were. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, the bulk of the Israelites were uh, are all here, man. Okay, and when I say the bulk, I'm just uh, I'm speaking as if the uh, a mixture of all twelve tribes, man, is here and on the shores of America. And at one point, we had lost our identity, man. Okay, but let me read on. It says, and he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, power thou knowest. Again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones 
and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Where did this happen, man? Okay? Where did prophecy erect, man, in America, man? Okay? This is where we uh, 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 we heard that we were the Israelites, man. This is where we received the name of the Lord, man. Okay? This is the great stage of prophecy for the, uh, 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 for the scriptures, man. Okay? This is where we heard the word of the Lord, man. All right? It says this. Thus said the Lord power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And how do we become alive? All right, that breath being the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, okay, being placed in us so we can uh, uh, wake up to who we are, man, okay? It says, and I will lay sinews upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord, man. We were far from the Lord, man. We had a zeal, but not according to knowledge, man. But here in America is where the truth came out of, man. Okay, to where we found out who we were, man, and returned unto the Lord, repented, all right, and are striving for the kingdom now, man. Okay, and you have people talking about America, uh, where is my America in the Bible? It's only for the spiritual to, uh, to see, man. Okay, and even outside of the spiritual, you have heathens that's, that's, that recognize and know that uh, Babylon is, is America, man. Okay. And you have Jakes that want to say America not in the Bible, man. All right, these Christians, whoever the hell it is, man. All right, this is this is for the uh, for the men of the Lord to break down whether you receive it or not. This is the stage uh, 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 that America, uh, well, the Most High is gonna uh, uh, set most of, most of his prophecy. Why? Because this is the great horde that's set to be destroyed, man. Okay. I'm gonna grab another preset, man. Just a key indicator. Of how uh, of America being spoken of in the scriptures, man. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 55, 59, and 19. It says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west. Okay, and who and, and, and that name strikes fear in these heathens, man, mainly these Edomites, man. Okay, the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and where did that come out of? That came up, we, we learned the name here in America. Okay. And then it was broadcasted throughout the uh, throughout the earth, man. All right, thanks to Esau on the internet, man. The water for that, Esau. The water for your 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 acting role in the Most High's movie. You're doing a great job leading yourself into captivity and destruction, man. Okay, I'm gonna start that from the top again. It says uh, Isaiah 59 and 19. It says, "So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, and His glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood." The spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him, man. And that standard is the scriptures, man. Okay? So like you. That standard is talking about the spiritual powers, man. Okay? And where is that? Uh, 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 the, uh, the bulk of the elect is here in America, man. Okay? And that gonna uh, uh, the Most High is going to lift men up with spiritual powers to assist you. I was shy with taking this place down, man. Okay? But the main point out of this verse is the name of the Lord uh, shall be feared from the West. All right? This is the will over here on the Western Hemisphere in America, man. Okay? All right? So I want to grab uh, the book of Hosea because it was a major uh, prophecy dealing with us losing our identity. All right? Uh, who we were. And uh, waking up uh, to who we were uh, as a people, man. Okay? So this is uh, Hosea chapter 1 and verse 10. It says, Yet the, the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the in the place where it is where it was said, Unto them, ye are not my people. So where did the, the great falling away happen, man? Okay, in the transit after the transatlantic uh, slave trade, man. Okay, that was the falling away where we lost our identity and we were uh, uh, we were brought here and now we we uh, uh, we were called uh, um, where it says ye are not my people, man. This is the place, America, man. Okay, it says there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power, man. Okay, right here in America is where this happened, man. This is where this took place, man. Okay, 
So America is in the Bible for the ones that can see it, man. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, read verse 11, Hosea 1 and 11. It says, Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. Okay, all right, so this is the, America is in the scriptures, man. Okay, for the ones who can understand it, man. Okay. This is the place where we lost our identity. We were brought into captivity and our heritage was beaten out of us. But once again, through prophecy, we have been woken up to the truth of who we are. And now the Lord is getting ready to come back and condemn this place, America, man. Okay, so uh, Lord willing, this lesson tied together through the spirit and as edification to the most high's elect. Uh, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Chachorash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessing, shalom to the Most High's elect. We almost out of here.